Hi guys, welcome to the episode of Show You More, the show that brings you all of the latest ASUS and ROG products. And of course, today's ROG product, of course, you can see from the title, you're like, hey, where is the box? Well, it's back there. It's big. So, let's unbox everything, put it on the table, and we'll get right back in the short while. Okay. Now you see why it's the box is back there because there is chock full of stuff. All right, so let's get some of the other things out of the way so that we can get straight into the laptop. But once again, we have ourselves a beautiful ROG backpack. I mean, like it looks so good. It comes off really premium. And I think in general, the backpack looks like something that I would buy. A lot of ROG motifs everywhere and also in the tag. So I think so far, this is definitely one of my favorite backpacks that I have. So if you guys want to send me one, please do. Uh, we also have the laptop uh, was a wrist stand. You no, know, it's kind of rubbery. It's not metal. So it's kind of like a chain, but it's nice and firm. So I'm just to give you guys exactly what's inside. We've seen this before, so I'm not really going to cover it too much, but I guess to let you know that this exists in the box. Next to we, of course, very simple guys. We've seen this ROG Delta headset very often, so I'm not going to cover it, but it also comes in the box. All right, so now that we've moved everything else, left this box and this box, if you've been watching this show pretty often, you kind of by now figure out that this actually is the power brick. So I do think that if we have the headset and the backpack, the ROG mouse is also in here. And I am right. So you do have the ROG mouse that they include with it. So that's really nice to have. And of course, we're gonna get straight into the rest of the remnants and that is the power brick. And surprisingly enough, that is very small. So quickly covering the uh, power bricks first. I mean, the size is not much bigger than my palm. It's about the size of my palm. Uh, cable length is pretty decent and also comes with, of course, the power adapter side or the, the, the plug side. But all in all, I'm surprised. Like, this is really very small. Like, am I expecting two screens? Because one power brick activate two screens and a decent GPU? What has this generation been? Now that we've covered everything else, let's get into the main event of the evening. So let's go and open the laptop area of this. And of course, look at the top. It's beyond the boundaries. You know, they want to push, uh, defy boundaries, not beyond, but defy boundaries. And it says, you know, uh, creating new horizons. So design-wise, very futuristic, very nice, and polished on the case. So it feels like I can have some texture there. You can feel it, some ASMR moment. And of course, I like the design so far. Let's open it up and take a look what's inside. I have not seen it. Wow, all right. Okay, a lot of details on the, the top wrapper. Uh, we'll take it out first and we'll see. You also have the back stand. So I think this can be removed because it's magnetic. So you have the back stand. So the stand goes here. Uh, inside these boxes, I do think it's just manuals, and that's about it. So we're gonna get rid of the box, get into the laptop and the stand, and get right back to you. And we're back with finally the main event. And of course, this is the ROG Zephyrus Duo 16. Two screens, Zephyrus once again. So starting with like some of the details here, we have covered these details before in many shows, and it's all an evolution that has taken place over the many years. And of course, it's the Active Aerodynamic System, and this is uh, Plus, of course, 2.0. Now, this is a cooling system where it has gives you enough uh, ventilation for your laptop to get some, uh, get some cooling. Stuff gets uh, really, really not hot at all too much uh, because these things are electronics. You know, power is going through, it's gonna generate heat. And of course, you guys wanna have at least a good uh, aerodynamic system that allows the heat uh, to dissipate uh, more easily out of the laptop. So that's one thing. You've got liquid metal extreme on the CPU so that your CPU doesn't get overheated too much. Sometimes it's those glue, sometimes it's the kind of metal that the, the adhesive. You guys have the liquid uh, metal extreme, which is gonna be really helpful uh, in terms of trying to get your CPU running at full speed. 
Next thing you got like a dual specs uh, panel, so you're gonna be able to spec both your screens, so you can go between 4K 120 hertz to like Full HD 240 hertz. This allows you to kind of play games in the right amount of hertz that you want. So for example, if you wanna play like let's say example the most popular like 5v5 games like Counter Strike, uh, Valorant, maybe even Overwatch, you kind of need to have that high uh, refresh rate. 240 is really really high and really really good. Uh, but you also have the option of 120 on 4K, so you get the 4K color. Uh, so it looks really good and has the high refresh rate. You have a choice between both. You also have DDR5 RAM and not longer DDR4. DDR4 still uh, still mid-range gen right now, but DDR5 is the next uh, echelon we should be going towards. Uh, of course, uh, MUX switch allows you to push between your digital GPU and i uh, GPUs. Uh, of course, you know fast charging, which surprisingly nowadays is all uh, USB-C. And finally, Wi-Fi 6E, next generation of extended Wi-Fi 6. So if you can't even find the LAN cable to plug it in, you have that added uh, bonus of having Wi-Fi 6. So now that we have removed all the plastic and of course move everything away, we have this beautiful laptop right here. And I like the matte black finish. You also have some of the beautiful uh, motifs, uh, coloring on the uh, logo and some of the, the designs on top. So I think looking around of the laptop, you know, we're gonna go through some of the specs. There is definitely three layers of specs right here. So you go, you got to have one USB-C on like the right side. You have, of course, most of the key components that you need. For example, full-size HDMI, so in case you want to play on three screens, you know, that third screen for Discord or your third screen for a guide or third screen for information, that is the one. You also have a USB-A right here and, of course, a LAN port because why? Hmm. Gamers play on LAN ports in their series. So on this final side, we're going to be covering a 3.5 jack right here, a mini SD card, uh, and of course a USB-C, a USB-A, and of course a DC in on slot right here. So let's look inside and see what we have. Oh, move this wrapper away. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. <gasps> so nice. Oh my goodness. Looking at all of the components, basically without turning it on right now, I am impressed. Like, look at the amount of size. 16 inch is huge. It's gonna be great for gaming. And of course, the bezel, almost negligible. It's not even there much. You also have the second screen, which with the Ergo lift comes up a little bit more. And I like it so far. And finally, you also have this, uh, I would say this plastic transparent that allows you to see uh, down inside and they've also added some additional uh, designs into it. So I like it so far. Once again, keypad, one, it's quite common to see this in here with the, the mouse pad on the right side. All right, so now that I've plugged it in, powered it up, got into past the logins and all the setups, we are here. And let's quickly get into the screen. So on top, you have a 4K 120 hertz with the option to change it to like a full HD 240 hertz screen. You know, this is 16 inch 500 nits. So that beautiful look is right here. Second screen right there is a uh, HD 1920 by 1080 screen, 240 refresh rate hertz too. Don't forget the bottom is also a touch screen. With that being said, let's find out what is the specs. Uh, it's an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX, which is quite sick. You no know, 8 core, 16 thread, 20 MB, cache up to 4.9 gigahertz. Uh, don't forget, you also have uh, inside here, uh, 16, uh, 64, okay? Not 32, not 16, 64 GBs of RAM. Next, inside you have two plus two. No, like what? What's two plus two? So it's two TBs plus two TBs of dual PCIe that are connected. Finally, you have your GTX uh, 3080 Ti with 16 GBs of VRAM. So wow, that is a lot of specs, a lot of powerhouse, and pretty much an all-in-one gaming station that actually gets you all the way. Hmm. I like this one because why? I absolutely love all the dual screens. I've seen it evolve over the years, and this is really one of the hallmarks of what it really is. Should have been 
uh, right now in this current gen. This is really the future right here. The future is now. The designs are there, the RGB is there, the screens are full on, the specs are really powerful. Power is being run off of USB-C nowadays. Of course, you have the other DC power port, but even DC, uh, USB-C is able to charge this laptop. And I, for one, feel that we are in the current gen. This is definitely one of my favorite laptops to have and to have open today. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and uh, comment in the section below. Like, what kind of games do you want to play on this? So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget there'll be more coming up. So see you guys on the next video.